Pensley. What's wrong? I'm not doing this tonight. Well, it looks like you're already doing it. Might as well just go along with it. Look, Matt. Fuck. I just wanna eat some... Uh... Yeah, cornflakes, who cares. Then I'm going back to sleep. This doesn't need to go on longer than that. You sound so angry. What's wrong? Come on, tell me. I'm not angry, I'm just tired, like really tired. And yet you can't sleep, right? Yep. What? Oh, now you want to talk to me. No, I don't want to talk to you. This is stupid. Look at you. There's no you. You're me. I'm the only person here. I'm fucking talking to myself or I should be sleeping. Fuck. Sleeping's kind of strange, right? Yeah, sure. Begin unconscious, the real world fades away. It's kind of like dying. What if we actually do die every night and the next morning we just get recreated by our idea of ourselves? Do we ever think about that? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. You know, the whole I'm you thing. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. But it's fun to pretend for a while, isn't it? I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> weird? People talk to themselves all the time. I mean, not like this, but in essence, you know, everybody does it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, uh, what about the whole dying thing? I don't know. Just something that keeps me awake at night. Willingly giving up consciousness. No, I meant the uh, recreation by the idea of us, like, what does it mean? You know what I mean. We all have this idea of ourselves. We are. How others perceive us. Our habits. All these things that make up who we think we are. Can we know who we are? We can try, but give me perspective, you know? You know what's funny? I'm not really hungry. I know. Can't sleep, right? I guess. I'm sorry, I'm going to willingly give up my consciousness now. At your own risk, man. Why don't we talk about stuff like that more in real life? We could. You just never bring up these things for yourself.
you serious right now? You don't like it? I'm trying to sleep. Even after I said it's like dying. Doesn't sound so bad anymore. What's the deal with sleeping anyways? It's not like you get any plans tomorrow. Uh, because sleeping is kind of necessary to keep being alive. So you need to die to be alive? Yeah, I guess, yeah. See, this isn't too bad at all. Sleeping's not so bad as well. Sure, but if you want to sleep, you need to relax. Clear your head of all the thoughts you have in there. You do realize that you're literally a thought in my head, right? That you're the reason I can't sleep. Remember when you said there is no me? Which means you yourself are the reason you can't sleep. In some sense, you want to be awake and think about this conversation. No. This is just this thing I do at 3am where my mind wanders off for no reason. So be it. Tonight's a night you can't sleep. Embrace it. Let's talk about the universe or the meaning of life. Perhaps you get a new idea to write about. I'd rather do all that tomorrow. Thanks. You know that I know you're not asleep, right? This won't work. You think so? You're forcing it. Like I said, you need to relax if you want to sleep. Don't I look relaxed to you? You know, I think there might be a reason for all of this. Nope. Just the usual thinking. Nah, I know you. There must be a deeper meaning to this. Some kind of metaphor you haven't figured out yet. Oh, this is the first sign of insomnia related madness. I don't know. My guess is as good as yours. You know, being a same person and all. No, no, trust me. I must be a representation of something. Or someone. One of your friends, perhaps. Yeah, that's it. I wonder who I'm supposed to be. I'm all of them. What are you talking about? You're none of them. You're me. This is all me. You're right, but... You know, in some way I am them. Them that still exist in your head. Which, if you think about it, is everything you ever know of them. In a way, I am exactly who they are. At least for you. You're not them, you're way too unspecific. You feel more like a... I don't know, just some general friend character opposed to me. And it doesn't really matter, because you're me talking to me. This doesn't lead anywhere. Stupid. What are you afraid of? What? You said it yourself, I'm you. You're just thinking about all of this. The moment I make this interesting and mention your friends, you get all defensive. I didn't, I didn't, I... I don't see the point to any of this. Me talking to myself. I can't gain any new knowledge from that. Just a waste of time. I don't think that's the reason. Don't you want to find out why you're thinking about all this? Look, I'm tired. It's late. I should be asleep. But I'm just not in the mood tonight. Like you said, I need to relax. Clear my head. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. It's been a long one.
Any idea how I could do that? Clear your head? I don't know. Take a shower? Ugh, this sounds good. Could have been my idea. This joke's getting old real fast. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, till another night. Till another night. Sleep. <sighs> What's wrong? This is fucked up. You look like him. Yeah, of course I do. I look like the perception of him in your head. But why? Why would I think about him? I don't know. Perhaps you want to tell me something. Or you trust me. But you're not him. You're me. Does this bother you? I don't really see the point in speaking to an imaginary version of someone I know. <laughs> you're doing it right now though. I know. I think sleep deprivation is taking a toll on me because none of this makes any sense. Perhaps you're seeing this the wrong way though. I didn't realize that'd be the right way. You know, it's not really that different to when you're writing. What do you mean? This. This conversation in your head. When you write, you're letting your characters talk to each other, learn from the conversations. And in some way, they are you as well. If writing stories is something that makes sense to you, why wouldn't this? I don't know, perhaps the fact that I'm not a character in a story? Do you still think about whether we can really know ourselves? I mean, I do now. Do you remember when you said we need perspective to achieve that? I didn't say that that would... Yeah. Yeah, I remember. You see, you understand your characters because you look at them from an outside perspective. But you experience everything you do from the inside of your head. What are you trying to tell me? Be a character in the story for once. Look at yourself from an outside perspective. Perhaps you'll learn something you didn't know before. Maybe I don't want to be a character in my story. 
I, I don't get why I'm still thinking about this when I could be asleep already. Well, obviously, somewhere inside you, you know there's a reason you're still awake. If you really wanted to be asleep, you would be. Nah, I'm pretty sure I'm just suffering from a severe case of overthinking. I'm literally talking to myself, discussing whether or not talking to myself makes any sense. Plus, I'm having this conversation with a friend, though, fully aware, I'm the only person here. How did it feel, seeing yourself? What? What do you mean? Seeing yourself in the mirror. How did that make you feel? I, I don't know. Wait, look man, I don't want to think about that right now. What are you afraid of? N nothing. I just want to sleep, man. Shutting these thoughts off won't help. You're thinking these things. Make the most of it. See where this goes. Get to actually know yourself. I think I'm good, man. It's been a long ass night already. Last thing I need right now is to make this nest any longer. Where are you going? If I can't sleep, I'll do something else to pass the time. See you around. I'm literally you. See me around then. I saw that in my head. You didn't. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, let's talk. About what? Everything it is we need to talk about. I need to talk about. Take a seat then. Let's get this over with. That's not how this works. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm doing here. For some reason I have to think about all of this. About you, I don't know why. What do you want to tell me? Nothing. This won't help if you don't talk. There is nothing to talk about. I don't have anything to say to him. And even if it's not like it would make any difference. I'm not really talking to you. Just the you that's in my head. That's a problem, isn't it? What? What problem? You don't talk. You never tell people how you're truly feeling. Because they don't want to know. Like, who really means it when they're asking, hey, how are you doing? How are you? Fuck you. For real, no. Like, what do you expect me to say exactly? If everything was going fine, I wouldn't have so much trouble sleeping, would I? I don't know what's wrong, it's just this general feeling I have that something isn't right. But nobody wants to hear that, so all I say is, 
I'm okay. Who doesn't want to hear that? Them? Or you? I thought this would help me sleep. What if that's the reason you can't sleep? Knowing that you're the only one who knows what you're feeling right now. Because you never let people in. Everybody has problems, alright? I just don't want to bother people with mine. What are you afraid of? Nothing, I just don't want to be a burden. You're afraid people wouldn't show you compassion if you opened up to them? That's not true, they would. You're afraid of making a suffering of them? That's not true. Why are you thinking about all this? Why can't you sleep? Because I'm lonely. I can't sleep because I'm lonely. And I'm thinking about all this because I want to tell people how I feel, but I'm too scared of what they might say. So I just do what I always do. I talk to myself. Because I live in my fucking head. You never told me. I still didn't. But you acknowledged it. And that's good. Everybody lives in their heads, but you need to let people in sometimes, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Weird that I have to tell me that myself. Well, you needed perspective. Yeah, yeah, fuck you guys too. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to sleep. Oh, come on, man, let's do something fun. Yeah, we're already here. I'm okay. Do you think we're better in other dimensions? How do you mean better? Say what you really mean more. The good to others. Find love. There are infinite better versions of you. But there are infinite versions worse than you as well. It doesn't matter. Why do you care about what could have been? You're so insignificant. You don't think that. I just did. What about this then? You know exactly why I made this. Who cares why you made it? It still means something. It's just a painting. Since when was anything you did just a painting? Just a story. Look around you, man. You made this. Don't act like you don't care. If you were so insignificant, why would you even bother making art? 
What is the purpose of art? To inspire people. To teach life lessons. To show others how you really feel. Art needs to be honest. Is it possible to really portray yourself in art? If art needs to be honest, then you must try. But art is creative. Doesn't the act of creating make art less honest? Perhaps it's even more honest, since your perspective on yourself is also part of yourself. How do you portray yourself honestly? Do you remember the night you drank your first beer? It was the last day before Easter break. The sun was setting. You met this girl from another town. There was a rapeseed field nearby. You didn't like the smell. But she didn't know the smell, so you wanted to show her. And you two just ran into the field together. What has this to do with anything? Nothing. Just a nice memory. Not everything has to be about something. What is life about? It's weird sometimes. You sit there and it just hits you. Nobody knows where anything exists. We're just you. And when we die, that's it. There's nothing to figure out before it happens. No big mystery to solve. Life is exactly what you're feeling right now. It's never gonna be any more than that. What are you afraid of? Can you love yourself? Why do you ask? Everything's just chaos. Atoms bumping into one another. And all this randomness. People finding each other and giving each other comfort. I think this is the most beautiful thing that could happen. Love is more complicated than that. What else do we have? Why do you always try to control everything? Do I? What is all this really about? I kinda don't want to sleep anymore. I think I'm gonna watch a movie. You guys can join if you want. But I think you will probably anyways. You need to turn on the projector. Yeah, I know, it's just a 
Just a window that isn't covered up. Oh yeah, just a moment. And got a movie mine. Doesn't really matter. What do you mean? What is all this? You wanted to watch a movie. No, everything. What the fuck am I doing? Fuck. Is something wrong? Yes, yes, something's wrong. What's the point of all this? Remember what I said about perspective? I said that. I'm the only one here. What kind of perspective is that? Some friend character opposed to me. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? And you're even worse. Pretending to be someone I actually know. Wearing their clothes. That was your idea. You wanted to talk to me. About what? The whole night I'm just thinking about random nonsense. Art, death, life, love. How is that nonsense? What do you want us to be? It doesn't lead anywhere. It's pointless. You thought about yourself too, remember? That you feel lonely? Everybody feels lonely sometimes. This is not about that. This is not enough. Enough? Enough for what? This is dark. What are you afraid of? Stop asking me this question. Why? You've been avoiding it the whole night. Just say it. What is this about? Why are you so angry with yourself? I'm not. You are. You're yelling at yourself. I'm just tired of lying awake and having the same thoughts every night. You said that is just what your mind does at 3am. No. This is different. Why? What's behind the curtains? I don't want to talk about it. That is the problem. You're avoiding what's really bothering you. Yo, what's bothering me? My thoughts are leading nowhere. Is that so? Of course. I could be long asleep by now, but I'm still awake thinking about nothing. I'm just wasting my fucking time. Do you still want to know yourself? Yeah, as if you're gonna be any help with that. You're just afraid of what you'll find out. How about you just cut the bullshit and start asking some real questions for a change? You really want to go there? If it helps shutting you up, yes, please. Are you sure? Yes. What are you waiting for? Bring it on, you f Are you afraid? Yes. What are you afraid of? You watching me. Why? Because I'm showing so much of myself. What are you afraid of? To cry in front of people. So I cry alone. What do you cry about? Being lonely. What are you afraid of? That I only made this movie because I'm unable to express my emotions in real life. How do you feel right now? Naked. Why do you wear these clothes? That's what I think a beach boy would wear. I think of a beach boy as someone who doesn't belong anywhere. Why do you think of yourself that way? Because I sleep alone. Why do you do all this? Because I broke down on the sidewalk crying. Why? Everything was too much. What is this really about? I fell in love with someone. For the first time in my life. What happened? 
that hit him lost me back. Do you like yourself? No. Why? Because I'm not enough for them. Do you need others to love you before you could love yourself? If they'd love me back, I'd understand why I could be loved. Is that why you fall for anyone who's nice to you? Maybe. What are you afraid of? That it wasn't real. That the only time I really loved someone, the best feeling I ever had, was not real. That my love for them was just a distraction from being alone with my thoughts. Because I can't take on the responsibility to love myself first. Why do you lay this responsibility onto others? Because I never take on responsibility for anything. Why? Because I'm scared. I'm scared to grow up. Why did you tell the story? Because I don't want to be scared anymore. What do you want? I want to love myself. Can you? I don't know. I still cry alone. And now they will know. But I hide behind a screen. Where everyone can see you. Is that what I wanted? You wanted to know yourself. That's true. Do you know yourself? I think I already did. Then why all this? To move on. Can you move on? Not yet. Why? There's something I still need to do. was your idea. Yeah, I know. So, you wanted to talk? Yeah. But it's weird talking to you. Because I'm not real. Because I'm talking to myself instead of the real you. Well, this is about you, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. What's wrong? It's just... You... Yeah? I have this feeling that whenever I'm alone I'll have a reason to cry. Because I remember you. And every time I see you, I think about how you don't feel the same about me. Just because I don't love you back doesn't mean you're a bad person. But I am. 
I never tell people how I feel. That's not true. You told me everything. That you love me, that you broke down crying. You even told me about this. I wanted to tell you every time we saw each other. But I was too scared. But you still told me everything. I told you, I couldn't do that. Don't be so hard on yourself. Do you know that you're one of the best things that ever happened to me? Because of you I know what love feels like. I know whenever I look up to the stars, I know that the universe can be beautiful. Yeah, you told me. I don't know if I can move on. You will. Everything hurts so much right now. You know, sometimes we just need to feel sad for a while. But that's okay. I guess this is what this is about. I guess this was about many things. <laughs> yeah, probably. This is a long night. <laughs> it is, yeah. I think I want to be alone now. Are you sure? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Wait. Yeah? I know it doesn't really matter because you're not really here and all of this is just in my head, but... I just wanted to say that you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. You told me the first time I came over. Do you remember what I said to you after? I said that you have beautiful eyes too. It's funny how we don't see that sometimes.